These are the most unprecedented of times. I could never have imagined that policing would be doing what it's doing today on behalf of our government. But we have to remember why we're doing this. It's about protecting the public, it's about saving lives, and it's about supporting and protecting our NHS. We've seen the number of people who have died because of this horrible virus increase daily. We've lost doctors, we've lost nurses, we've lost some of our own. So that's why I would ask that we remember why we're doing what we're doing, often in the face of a small element of criticism. And I understand that everyone's scared, everyone's frightened, but it's important that we inform the public why we're doing what we're doing. And it's important that the government support us in doing that. But I know as police officers, we also have our families. We're mums and dads, we're brothers and sisters, and we have our concerns about our own families. I would encourage my colleagues, if you have concerns, if you need to speak to somebody, please reach out and do that. It's more important now than ever that not only the policing family, but the emergency services family look after each other and look out for each other. So please, if you feel you need to speak to somebody, then whether it's your local federation branch or whether it's a colleague at work or whether it's picking up to the phone to one of the many helplines, please do it. I promise you that we at a local and national level, your federation are there for you. Please look after yourselves and look after each other.